Well, hello guys, uh, I'm coming from the future <laughs> to tell that this video uh, stay a little bit bigger than I thought So I'm coming here to say that this video will be split in two sections, okay, in two parts So uh, the time of the video uh, doesn't stay too, too big, okay? So that's it guys, enjoy the video Well, hello guys, welcome to the third video of this course so I promise that this video it will be it would be a practical one. So today we start with the codes open it, at least this. So I will try to be brief in this video because I just want to I just want to introduce you guys to the codes uh, and talk uh, a little bit of each part of the code. So so let's begin. Uh, I will take my cam my can out because so you guys can see better the codes so <laughs> I will try to do this in, in a nice way but <laughs> I don't know how this will go because well I, sw I I split my my screen in two parts so I can I can draw in this one uh, something that uh, we are trying to explain here okay so let me see I will just comment uh, I think I, I comment that I think in the first video but I will uh, redo again because this is important so the the shortest overview over this code is that here you have the libraries I will uh, tell about them in a second and um, here we have uh, this uh, the flow definitions here we have the function definitions and here is the main time loop of the code and here is just uh, a plotting path okay so basically the, the time loop ends here so this is a, a extra part that we can use for a visualization okay and here in the final um, I, I put uh, to to generate the the files of the simulation for just one time step for the final time step but you guys could uh, actually include this in the time step that you guys uh, want uh, the velocity fuse okay but here uh, if we take that those comments out this would generate the the files for the final time step okay that's you guys uh, this may be useful okay and I don't know if in that code of the the github it has this but if it, it doesn't I will put there uh, this is just to count the time that the simulation is expanding to run okay so if you guys put uh, a small uh, amount of points here uh, this should run fast okay so let's begin I think that's one of the first thing that I forgot to say in the last video <laughs> that's a quite important one is that the, the distributions f, the functions f that we were talking about, the, that is the density they are represent uh, this that we were going to try to simulate this somehow in the in the equilibrium we expect to go as the Boltzmann distribution okay so which has like minus v square over uh, I will not put the constants okay because I don't remember all of them from my head uh, but it, it goes like the Boltzmann distribution so basically that's why we are doing the the lights Boltzmann methods okay and you know, let me okay so basically this this is the important thing that I forgot to mention so now from the code itself uh, as we said in the in the first video in the second video uh, the model that you are trying to use to reproduce here is the d 2 k 9 model so d 2 k 9 the d 2 k 9 we mentioned that it's 2 is because it is 2 dimensional and 9 is because we have 90 uh, velocities 90 directions okay so in our codes here on the left uh, I will begin by the directions 
So those nine directions are defined by those velocities, those lattice C velocities. Here we have the velocity that is pointing to the origin, so it's basically zero, zero, it's beginning zero and ending in zero. Here we have the one zero velo velocity that is pointing to the positive x-axis. Uh, we have minus one and zero and so on. So we can we have like nine velocities. So it looks like this, right? Oh no! <laughs> let me ch let me erase this. Here, here, here. So I'm also drawing, right? So there, there is nine directions here. Okay. Uh, so this is the idea. And okay, so these are those lines. Here in the flow definition, we basically have the the total number of uh, iterac interactions of the system. So here in this case, uh, it is a short one. It has just 1,000 interactions. So for a real problem, you may have I don't know uh, one million uh, interactions or even more. Here is the Reynolds number that's uh, in this example is set to 300. So this is limited by the the collision model that's in our case is the BTK one. So uh, we can put that too high. So if we want to to increase too much the Reynolds number, we should change the the collision model. To a to a more recent one that has uh, a higher stability. <coughs> Sorry, uh, here in the third line we have the the grid points, the the number of lattice points. So in this case we have two thousands in the x direction and five hundred in the in the y direction. This L L Y is just uh, basically to to represent. Uh, what is the size of the domain because it is basically any y minus one because if we have I don't know five points so the the height of the dom of the domain is will be four right one two three four so it's the number of points minus one uh, the ULB this uh, is basically the velocity in lattice units so this should be small and how much small this should be small in order to respect that the, the Mach number should be much smaller than one. This is to, to ensure numerical stability. Okay, but uh, actually <laughs> this need doesn't need to be much much smaller than one. Okay, uh, basically the, the Mach number is defined as the ULB U of the lattice Boltzmann divided by the sound velocity of the lattice Boltzmann method that is 1 over square root of 3 okay so this is uh, I don't know how much but I think it is <laughs> 0 0.8 I don't know I don't remember but it's, uh, we, we can put uh, ULB, I don't know, uh, increase up to z 0 0.1 ULB of order of 0 0.1, maybe a little bit higher than that, uh, 0 0.23, but it's not much higher than that, okay? In order that we have the, the Mach number uh, is smaller, uh, <laughs> at least considerably smaller than one okay so what else uh, here we have the the new that uh, in, in this flow definition we ba we basically input the Reynolds number we input the I don't know the the, the length that are characteristic characteristic of the system and we input the velocity of the medium so from that we can calculate the, the viscosity okay in lattice units so it's basically ULB uh, times the characteristic characteristic length that in our case it will be any y divided by uh, the Reynolds number and omega 
is the relaxation parameter so it's basically one over uh, the relaxation time so omega is one over the relaxation time tau so this is what uh, will enter uh, in the the BJK collision operator do you remember I said about that in the last video so we will have something like F out is equal to F in uh, minus omega that you multiply F in minus F of equilibrium and thi this equilibrium is associated with the Boltzmann distribution I'm sorry with the Boltzmann I think it is just one Z and two N's. I'm sorry. Okay, so this uh, omega is this one here that is one over tau, where tau is the relaxation time. It's in, I don't know uh, with a physical meaning. It's associated with the with the time that it's. Uh, Associate, uh, associated with the mean velocity and the, the mean free path okay, of the particles so here uh, this is just a trick uh, we doesn't have to define this but this is the opposite directions uh, that we use uh, on the simulations here are the, the large C weights because if we look to this l let me draw a, a better one let me delete this one and let me draw a better one okay uh, I'll try to to join a little bit higher bigger I think this is a little bit better okay uh, so we have to define weights because uh, going to this direction that is closer to, to this point uh, should be easier so this weight should be uh, smaller okay so so the weights associated with a, with a probability uh, you may think in this way so it is easier to go uh, to a place that is closer and is uh, harder to go to a place that is uh, further away okay so those that are in horizontal and vertical lines are the smallest ones so it is the 1 over 9 and in the diagonal ones we have 1 over 36 and of course that's uh, stay uh, stay in the same place uh, doesn't go to anywhere uh, it has the the higher probability it has the higher rate okay that is uh, far over nine is the first one so here we have the sound velocity as we mentioned it will be associated with the the Mach number here so in the function definitions we have uh, th this uh, function calculates the density and the velocities so the density will be the sum of the of the distributions fi in those nine uh, points of each cell so i equals to zero up to nine uh, the velocities the velocities u is we can say as the the first momentum so it's basically uh, the sum of i of the direction of the of the ve of the velocity vector of the lattices those ci here those ci here uh, times the the distributions fi okay i think w we have actually rho times u is equal to this this is the first momentum first order momentum so those are here in this function 
so this function returns uh, the density and the velocities the equilibrium distribution as I said uh, is related to the Boltzmann distribution so here uh, in this case we are expanding the, the Boltzmann distribution uh, that is in, in a medi medium with a velocity u uh, this will be expanded uh, according to the Taylor expansions up to second order so this is this function here okay here we will put the the obstacle that we are trying to simulate because if we, we, we don't put uh, any kind of obstacle nothing to the flow interact with uh, we basically will see nothing right so in this simulation we are putting a thin plate so it's represented by this uh, by this part here okay and here we are this is just the function and here we create uh, the obstacle in fact so this from function uh, this is a model from numpy that will loop through this function uh, over uh, from zero up to those values here okay so this function has two arguments x and y so we are placing any x in any y points so it will generate uh, zero from any x any x minus one uh, sorry and from zero to any y minus one points uh, of over this function here okay so basically we will define a function of uh, a logical function of true and false values and when this condition are is satisfied uh, it will give true and when it's not it will give false okay so here is the initial velocity profile that we can put uh, just in the beginning uh, of the inflow condition or uh, on the whole uh, on the whole domain in the beginning okay here again uh, same thing this is the function that is defining the velocity and here we are basically build, building the building the, the velocity uh, points from this from function function of the numpy and now that we already defined the equilibrium function we can uh, we can assign a value to the distribution distributions f, f in that are the incoming distributions uh, according to the equilibrium with density 1 and velocity values defined is right here 